Hi and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you a little fly called, uh, I, I call it the sprinkler, the spring, sprinkler fly. And, uh, and uh, it's just a small, small uh, fly um, that, I've, uh, that my um, good friend uh, Magnus Riksgård showed me last year when we went to Mön and uh, and uh, we were fishing side by side and uh, and he was uh, and, and we was looking out on the water and uh, the fish was rising and they were eating something uh, we couldn't understand what it was and then we was trying different flies and suddenly i just heard him aha and he changed the fly took one cast and bam and he was hooking up one fish after another and i was like standing just what what just happened? I mean, I usually catch fish that are, you know, on my uh, on the on the or, or or this small olive sc uh, scud fly. I got uh, krampa and I tried klimpen and I tried small small uh, scuds, but I didn't want to take my fly. And uh, we all been there, you know, when one of your buddies are catching a lot of fish and you're not catching it, nothing. So uh, and uh, and I, I was experimenting with different types of flies and uh, and I was uh, you know he was just oh another one no another one and then uh, after a little while I asked him uh, Magnus what kind of fly are you using and and he's oh uh, he, he just um, uh, in Norway in, in Norwegian it's called Mrs. some kind of small uh, shrimps or something and uh, and I said ah can I borrow one and uh, of course you can and I got the fly for him and one cast boom so um, there is the fly and I want to show you how to tie it it's uh, he doesn't have a name for it he's just calling it the uh, Mrs. Frua <laughs> as we say in Norwegian uh, but uh, I'm gonna call it sprinkle fly because it reminds me of something it's translucent and it's no not so hard uh, dressed so hard and uh, and yeah and uh, this is the materials I use for this fly and it, it's a uh, grizzly soft tackle you see there's the soft tackle and you got with the shikabu this marabou part okay you can see uh, you need one of those and uh, and uh, I'm gonna use some olive I use uni thread, okay, it's, uh, six six O, and I use copper wire, green. I call this, uh, yeah, I can call it green metallic or something, but it's it's dark green or it's greenish. It it looks uh, very good on this fly with the green head, and I'm gonna use this. Uh, that uh, this is um, crystal mirror flash in peacock color, so the kind of good colors and it uh, pro I promise you it works uh, this fly works uh, so good uh, on uh, on the days where the water is uh, crystal clear and perhaps no wind on the so the water is like a mirror you know all flat and um, yeah so that's the uh, the materials and I'm going to use this uh, holographic tinsel and as you can see I got this on a bobbin and this is a plastic bobbin that I normally use for my lead wire, but I'm gonna use this, and I know when I'm tying it on, it's gonna twist the tinsel, but it doesn't matter on this fly uh, because we're gonna palm it and we're gonna rib it. So if you want to spend spend a lot of time of tying on this flat, be my guest. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do tie this fly fast, and it's fast and efficient. So um, there you go. Um, uh, of course, I'm gonna put out out uh, this green color on uh, my web shop, so you can get it if you want it. You can use uh, uh, ordinary copper wire, uh, different types, whatever you want. I like the green combination. Uh, I also make it in a red combination, so I got this red one too, or shall I say, fiery brown reddish color. It's a nice color. It's easier to see it down here on the camera. I can show it because here it's the light is a little bit yellow. Let me show you. Here's the red color. Very nice. And uh, the thickness is a little bit thinner than the other copper wire I use for, um, for you know, Krampa and, uh, and uh, Klimpen. It's a little bit thinner. So I'll call this small and yeah, size small. 
You can use it for Krampa and uh, Klimpen if you want, of course. Just take a couple of more wraps. But there's the color. And as you can see, the green color is nice too. So, yeah. Okay, there's the materials for you. And uh, I, I think I'm gonna... I got a lot of flies I'm gonna film in the next weeks. Uh, so many. And uh, I'm gonna... This is the first one on the list. I had this fly for many months now. and. And I have this list of flies, so but I think I'm gonna t continue my um, my videos in English because uh, I got a lot of new subscribers and many from Germany. So hello to you, and uh, I got many from Denmark and and Sweden and England, and I know uh, I got some French people following me, and uh, I don't have that much time to make this video, so so making two one in english and one in norwegian uh, that's gonna stop because all of you guys understand me uh, i understand my english is not so so bad as i think myself so yeah so there you go let's start this fly the sprinkler and uh, and and um, yeah okay so there's the fly you can see this is the green one i like it a lot so we're gonna just move the lamp a little bit there there we go that's the light we want yeah and and uh, yeah and for the hook I'm using uh, this is the TMCO this is just a streamer hook this triple seven SP size 10 and I'll 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 make a material list under the under the co uh, before the comet uh, section so yeah there we go olive thread start by tying on the thread uh, to the hook point there and I'm going to uh, tie in the um, the shikabu the marabu part okay I'm just gonna pick out a nice one nice one they're they're almost the same everyone but you know gotta be a little bit picky let's see that's a nice one and I'm just gonna slide my fingers over there and I'm gonna pick them up with these fingers and I'm gonna just make it almost the same length as the whole hook okay there and I'm gonna make it nice you could take uh, uh, take out the tip and you know but I like it when there are different length on the tail it moves so good in the water okay so just tie in the whole thing about there and I'm gonna tie in from the point of the hook I'm gonna slide my fingers back and tie the thread to the barb cross the, my thread and go back forwards again and stop there there's the tail so we can see it's not even you see there's different length that's just makes for a more lively tail, tail I think so snip off that one throw it in the bin and then we're gonna tie in the crystal mirror flash I'm gonna just pull out one here and I'm just gonna bring it up and I'm gonna tie it in the full length of the hook because I'm gonna try to make this body as 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 uh, you know uh, level uh, parallel as possible not so it don't get lumpy in the back and thin in the front you know okay so tie in the crystal mirror flash one on each side so I'm just gonna split them up just before I reach the time point there and I'm gonna cross my thread and go forwards again to all the way up to the start and I'm stopping three millimeters from the from the hook eye snipping off this one a little bit longer than the tail both of them throw away the stops like that and I'm going to take some copper wire green stuff okay so I'm gonna tie in the copper wire and I want to tie it in underneath the hook okay make sure it's underneath because I don't want the fly to flip around when I'm fishing it because I'm fishing this fly uh, 
high up in the water, just on beneath the surface, okay? And I'm stripping the fly pretty fast. And chung 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 chung. And stop ching ching ching. Okay. So that that's that one. And I'm gonna tie in the rib. Good. And then I'm gonna snip off my thread. I'm just gonna make a couple of half hitch knots. Not all the way there, but just doesn't matter really. Three or four half hitch snip it off and then I'm gonna tie in my uh, tinsel yeah and I'm just gonna tie it in just like I'm tying in some thread okay and I'm just gonna zoop. as you can see this will cross itself felt uh, uh, what shall I say it will it start to twin uh, and, and, and it doesn't matter I'm just gonna use it as a filling up body I'm gonna go back and forth a couple of times to fill up this part you could probably use some type of silver uh, dubbing but uh, this this is the way I'm I tie this fly and this is the way Magnus is tying it so yeah all the way back there and go all the way back to the front of the hook okay now you can see you got a nice body and it's nice and shiny you see and stop there. I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm gonna tie on my thread again. A couple of wraps like that. And now you can see it's important to have this three millimeter space there for for you know the head and we're gonna tie in a hackle and just finish off this flash. A couple of turns. I'm gonna snip it off. I'm gonna make this one ready for another fly and then I'm gonna tie in my soft tackle so here's my uh, my uh, soft tackle from writing and I'm gonna pick out a nice one and what we're gonna do there a nice one and what we're gonna do we're gonna strip off the part down here the marble part perhaps leaving some of it for the front and I'm gonna strip off the top part of the hackle okay because we want it to be translucent so strip off the top part <laughs> and I'm gonna tie this one in okay ready yeah. and I'm making sure this part is down and towards me and I'm pinching it with my thumb and index finger on the other side pinching the thread go down and up and a couple of turns fold it back this is a quick and easy fly to tie okay and then, then we're gonna take a couple of wraps in the front first perhaps two one and two and then we go go three to four turns back okay so we have to go like that one two three and you see and I can pinch it like that and you can breathe <laughs> and take another turn you can pinch it with your thumb thumb you got plenty of time to to um, pick up your ribbing okay pinch it with your finger again like that bring up the ribbing and I'm gonna lock this down on the top okay and this is what's so nice about copper wire it's it's kind of locks it down at once if you use some nylon or something it will have the off it it will just slide off you know so copper wire is it's pretty nice to use so one two and three and wiggle it back and forth and now you can see the hackles are going that way and the ribbing are going that way it will cross each other and make for uh, make a very good fly okay four five just ribbon and when we come in the front here we're gonna come up in the bottom underneath I mean like that and pull it and snip off this one just pull it off if you can ah, manage like that 
and then I'm gonna do as I always do I mean you could take a couple of turns like that okay and you can wiggle it but I think when you use this thick copper wire and wiggle it will kind of loosen I don't like that I don't like that I'm gonna snip it off like that perhaps a little little bit shorter and this is my scissor I use for copper wire and lead this is not my nice scissor okay <laughs> so I know many of you is thinking oh my god is is using his scissors at but it's I have a plan okay and I'm using my nail and I'm flipping this one over like that okay it's important that you make it go all the way down because if you have a, a your you you know you tip it in in a loop or something you don't want the tippet to come up on this copper wire and snip off your tippet so that's important and take a couple of wraps nice head this is a fly I of course you can fish it during the day or the morning but I kind of like this fly in the sunset you know yeah a couple of turns with the finish too and the fly is finished so this is a fast fly this this you can make in just a few minutes and and um, you can make it in a copper version by using you know this tinsel in copper and uh, you can use red and red and you know red uh, copper wire and red head I mean and you can use instead of this color you can this is a nice uh, pattern to you know experiment with and but these colors are what I'm using for imitating this Mrs. I'm not sure what you call it in English but uh, I think you know what kind of a shrimp I'm talking about this small shrimp shrimps or yeah missus so I'm calling this fly the sprinkler I know perhaps someone has already made it or something somewhere in the world but you know uh, you can call it whatever you want I just want to show you a very good sea trout fly and there's still many more to come okay so this is the sprinkler nice and easy fly and I got this uh, from Magnus Riksvjord one of his uh, secret weapons for sea trout that is hard to catch <laughs> so yeah there we go there's the sprinkler and um, hope you enjoyed the video and I like if you please leave a comment or you know whatever and let me know what you think uh, if, if there's something else you want me to do or or, or you, if you mean something please let me know okay I'm, I'm I make this video exactly how I want myself so if you want to see something else or you are missing something please let me know but look at it it's nice and translucent and uh, yeah it's, it's a pretty nice fly so it's kind of a magnus type of fly but yeah it's not so heavy weighted and uh, it fishes very good so i'll see you in the next movie uh, i got a lot of flies to film and it's gonna be in english so i'm quite excited so yeah let's uh, i'll see you later okay goodbye